Hi all, it's Karen and Pluto here for Karen and Pluto's on another review channel, another movie review, obviously. Um, hopefully you've checked out the first one of this checked one. Out. Checked out. Checked out. Get out. All right, come on, let's go. Um, checked out the first movie, Chud, that we reviewed, our discussion if that's posted. <laughs> so we're going to talk about Chud 2, Bud of Chud. Oh, we're doing Bud of Chud. Bud of the Chud. Bud the Chud. Whatever the piss okay, is called. Okay, I'll do this review. The movie sucks. The chick's hot. The dog's okay. The end. That's about it. Thanks. Watch. Subscribe. We're done. Bye. <laughs> yeah, people would be shocked, I think, if I put a video up under a minute. Um, so we this, should do that. That'd be funny. So this came out in 1989. It is rated R, which this one thought it was PG-13. PG. Um, for pure yeah. garbage. Yeah, well, that too. But um, I don't even know why it really has the R rating. Uh, it's not it's violent. Yeah, it's an hour and 24 minutes. This is one of these ones where they try to do more uh, comedy with the horror. But, I mean, I don't even think there's really much horror in it. Would you say that? No. Oh, you think there's horror in it? There isn't any. There's <laughs> Disney horror. <laughs> Disney movies are scarier than this. All right, come on, let's go. So, so get this done. basically, we start out sucks. at some hospital. They're talking about... You know, destroying the last Chud that's around. That apparently, the military's been experimenting with, and our buddy Chud escapes, but is recaptured and moved to the CDC in some small town USA. They say where he's moving it to, but it's not. Are you sure we're going Chud too? It sounds like Return of the Living Dead. <laughs> eh, that's better. Sorry. So. Um, Right. We cut away to a high school biology class, and here we meet. I don't know if we meet all three of our main characters, but um, I think Steve, he's kind of like the idiot class clown. Basically, he sets the class, some of the stuff in the classroom on fire, and him and his friend Kevin. I did that once. Um, have to do some things after school, and there's supposed to be this cadaver. I set a microwave on fire. You did. Yeah, that's our story. Okay. Sorry. So basically, they have to stay after school to do a couple things, and there's a cadaver there that's supposed to be used for a biology class the next day, and lo and behold, they lose it. It's a good thing they're not necrophiliacs. Yeah, really. So they go and end up, they're like, oh, I know where we can go. We can get a body. It'll be no problem. Sorry. So Kevin, Steven, and what the hell? Kevin it? Stevenson. Katie. Go Katie. to the CDC building, and of course, still bud. They steal some buds. Yeah. So they can smoke. So they were, they're trying to take the body back to Stevens. There's a bunch of shit that happened. Corpse stealing is a crime, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, here they have them in the bathroom and drop the hairdryer in and basically bring them back to life, so to speak. Wouldn't that sort out everything in the house? You would think so, but it didn't. Stupid. So they're still. You know, the whole fiasco scene with all of that. It's not funny. They're discussing what to do. They go out to eat. Bud ends up breaking out from the basement. And, and cause, their parents still notice anything. Yeah, the parents Duh. are so clueless. That he is goes so and wreaks havoc on the town, basically. It's stupid. Starts um, biting different people to and basically transforming them into chuds, even though they refer to as zombies. It's a chud zombie vampire. Yeah. Werewolf. That, that can be out during the day. So basically in the middle of all this, the CDC does figure out who took it. So they're trying to go ahead and get Bud back as they keep calling him. Um, I'm trying to even look and see. Yeah, eventually the they, they overhear, um, eventually Steve, Steve and Katie and Kevin all here, overhear a police call about them stealing the body. So they basically know they're in deep shit at this yeah, point. Yeah, when they're in the diner, right? Um, yeah. Okay. So it comes down that um, basically Bud is roaming the streets, changing people um, throughout. I'm not even going to go into detail with all that. Um, yeah, you're lucky. You're there's the military is looking for Bud. The three main characters are looking for Bud, and Bud's just being. Oh, I was looking for Bud. I need to smoke some by watching this crap. Well, here in the middle of all this, it's Halloween. Doing it? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, there's supposed to be trick-or-treating, this Halloween dance, which means a lot of people are going to be out, which means more people can get infected. Um, we have the dog also attacking people because he attacks the mailman, changes him. Wow. And you can see the spring um, whenever he just pulled away. Here That's in the funny. middle of all this, the 
military dude. I don't even remember his name. He just military totally dude. sucks. Shows up at uh, Kevin. Is it Kevin or Stevens? I don't yes. remember. And he's like, Generic we're looking for your one. son. And, you know, he's in trouble. We need to see him. We'll hear. They're still trying to look at them. We'll hear in the middle of all this. Oh. Early on, Bud was up in <sighs> Kevin Steve's room, whoever it was. Sees a picture of the three of them and kind of gets a hard on for Katie. Well, he does? He's, he's dead. So I guess he would be stiff. Oh, he got that rigor mortis done. Here. I guess. I don't know. But he, he kind of becomes very infatuated with her. It's a good thing he wasn't in her room. Mm. He'd be sniffing her panties. Probably. He'd be like, ooh, I like the smell of that. So eventually they're walking around and Bud is following them at one point and going on about Katie. And um, we'll hear her at this one restaurant. Bud and some of his chud cronies are there. They change all the people. <laughs> chud cronies. I don't know what to call them. Zombie cronies, whatever. So they change all the, the people inside good. there. And here the military shows up and realize, oh, there's all these other chuds. So they blow it up. But here they don't kill the chuds. And then um, Steve, Katie, and Kevin eventually follow find the truck that Bud was in. It's at this farm. And of course, you know, things don't go according to plan there. The military shows well, up, yeah, arrests now. them. Um, Bud and the other chuds got away. Bud and the other chuds. So then they're basically going to take fall, over the... ABC. Yeah, that's about it. Right. Um, back at the... They get... Go back... We go back to the CDC and the military guys talking to the other guys. What's this for again? Uh, Center for Disease Control. Oh. There. You get an education much in this. Yeah. When I know my stuff. Oh, you're smart. Um, so the head military guy tells the other guy, you know, get them to talk. We need to get them back. You know, they kind of fill them in on a little bit. Like, this was a military thing. You know, he was supposed to be destroyed. That's I didn't think it was a military thing. I thought it was a New York thing. No, it's a military thing in this one. Whatever. So. Um, Two, four, five, trioxin. Basically, <laughs> Chud or Chud Bud shows up, tries to break and get Katie through the window. The other Chuds are there. So the three escape. The other dude's like, I'll hold them off. Yeah, we know how well that's, uh, that's going to go. Well, then we cut back into town. And there's trick-or-treating going on. And Bud goes over and grabs this one kid and is holding him up. And he's like, oh. And then he sees, like, adults or teenagers walking around. And he looks and he goes, oh, too small. Puts them down. And they he go don't off. want an appetizer. He wants the Meanwhile, there, are, there is a group of kids that are bitten. That do attack an elderly couple. So, yeah, meanwhile, I have to laugh. They don't it, it's like nobody eats anybody in this build, uh, this movie. They just bite each other. Like a vampire. They're a vampire, chud, zombie, werewolf. Um, so eventually oh they end Martians. up. Um, so in the middle of all this, too, they realize about trick or treating and the dance, and it's going to be a perfect alignment for everything going on. So they're trying to figure out. Um, you like when they dance. Got to get that in on the oh, video. Oh, yeah. So then eventually, Kevin, Katie, and Steven get to the school. They they had tr stolen a CDC truck, and here they find this stuff that they used at the barn. And they're like, well, this is used to how they used to stop the chuds or something. But here the chuds are adapting, and they can break around some things. You taking a nap? No, listen. Um, here they get into the school, and their bio teachers one. So they end up taking care. They figure out, okay, if we freeze them and then do some electricity, they'll blow up. So they come up to with that out. just guessed. Well, the one like the one kids, Kevin, Stephen, whoever it is. Um, he's a nerd. He's kind of a nerdy kid, so he's probably trying to process what to do. He wants to impress his girl. So they basically figure out if they can get them all into the pool, they can freeze them and then electrocute them. I like Danny here. So um, talk about that. Katie part. agrees to be the bait. And how does she do it? So she goes and gets in her swimsuit. Yeah. Goes into the dance where That's all the other chards are. Ch chards are. Chuds are. Whistle. What does she? What she whistles and what does she say? I don't know. She's coming get it or something. Something like that, and they all start going after her. I like how you the chicks like, like because her. The, <laughs> and this is the other thing. These flipping chuds talk throughout like things because when she does that, all the male ones go Katie, and the females go yum yum. Yep, because zombies don't run and chuds don't talk. Right. Yeah. So they start chasing her down to the pool. Eventually, all get into the pool. Um, she has a nice suit. Bud still keeps going after Katie. He he like really really. She wants got a rig of mortis, or he has a rig of mortis for her. So um, they start throwing these canister things in to start 
you know, freezing them or whatever to trap them before they blow them up, electrocute them, whatever. Yeah. And Bud gets out, corners Katie up on the diving board. You're like, oh, this is so romantic. This was so ridiculous. It's romantic. <laughs> and at one point, he actually reaches into his chest and pulls out his heart. Because even before that, I said, what's it going to do? Oh. Give her his heart, literally. Um, oh. Also in the middle of all this, mm. Steve ends up getting bit. Yeah, yeah. Like, you really care. I was just like, oh, my God, he got bit. What What the heck? So You're anyways, like, oh, no, not him. No, I... I was like, yeah, yes. So, eventually, uh, they get everything taken care of, blow up the chuds. Yay, everything's back back to normal. And they all um, walk out while he's limping. Yeah, he's limping. They leave the building. Um, get to the last scene. Military and the police show up, kind of... Oh. You know, take care of things. Well, then we go to the next day. Katie's driving to pick up Steve and Kevin for school. Yep. Um, Kevin's there by himself. Steve took off. He left a note saying, you know, he has to be more mature. Whoever they are. I don't remember. Yeah, he's like, you know, I'm going, I'm going to the see the goes. world. You know, you two make an awesome couple and everything. Well, then it ends where we see Steve and the poodle, Jasper. Um who was bit earlier in the movie, get picked up by this pickup truck. I think I mentioned about the dog. You did or didn't? I don't know. I thought I did. If I did, I don't remember. Yeah, there's, this movie sucks. there's a dog in there. It's not real memorable. It's not like Muffin. Yeah. Um, Muffin could Jasper dogs, jumps but... in the back of the truck while Steve gets in front, and here there's um, one military dude's underneath this. And he's a chud. Um, I don't want to say blanket. How did he plus... turn into a chud? Well, the only thing I could I figure remember. is... Jasper showed up at the CDC when that one guard was there. The guard, Jasper bit that guard, and that okay. guard's the one that was driving the military guy in the town to try to help things. Oh, I must not have cared at that point. Yeah, that was the only thing, because I just observed that part, because I kept saying, that asshole's going to turn into one. Well, he's hiding under this plastic, and a he, world picks him up. he tells um, the right? dog to be quiet, because he's undercover. Meanwhile, he has the teeth like a chud. Yeah, he's undercover, because he's undercover. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, Steve's Stupid. up in front, and there's this chick that picked him up. She's a werewolf. I, we don't know what she is. All she says about making sure she's checking him out and going, We're, we need to stop somewhere for the I night. I think she's a werewolf. But Steve's also a chud, and that's it. Yeah, so, who cares? The end. This movie sucked. <laughs> yeah, yes. I told you it did. <laughs> yeah, I mean, pretty much could have told you that at the beginning. Well, I think Bluto pretty I much did. did. I gave my review. We could have been done with this Bluto. like an hour ago. <laughs> well, considering we're only like 13 minutes. Oh, really? Uh -huh. It seemed like an hour. No. Okay, um, good. Like I said, it was the first time I ever saw that movie. Never. I don't care to ever see it again. Nope. So Don't watch it. Yeah, save yourself an hour and 24 minutes. Well, watch life. the ending with the chick. In the swimsuit. Yeah. She's like, come and get it, boys. <laughs> All right, we're done. That is it for this review. Please remember to like, Bye. comment, subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you know when we post new content. I'll Share the, the page. It would be greatly appreciated. Subscribers and watchers, thank you. Appreciate all of you. Keep coming back. Uh, check out my other channel, K Doll Games, Toys and More, Toy and Game Reviews over there. Can't find um, Amazon wishlist is posted if you want to help us out with anything. Yeah, more stuff. It would be awesome. Uh, if there's something you want us to review, let us know in the comments. If I can find it, great. If not, well, if you're willing you to get it. I know you should support for Amazon. What? Assault of the Killer Bimbos. Can't even get it. Oh, I thought it was on DVD. I don't know. I, well, I add it. We'll review it. Yeah. That is it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.